Hey Space Cadets, Lanchin here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to be drawing a charcoal moon. So what you will need is a Strathmore drawing pad with a smooth surface. I find this best for blending a General's charcoal pencil in black and white along with compressed charcoal. I will also be listing all the products I'm using in this video below as well, just in case you guys are wondering. I've got a blending stump. I've got my infinity eraser that's what I like to call it because it's never ending and I've got a chamois claw so the first thing I'm going to do is trace a circle onto my paper I just used a cup you can use whatever you'd like and I do that using my charcoal pencil and then I start filling in all those major details that I see on the moon using my compressed charcoal I just want to get those main details out of the way so I have something to work with now there are multiple ways to go about blending this I really like using the chamois cloth because it gives the entire object color. So I'm just filling in all those dark areas that I see on the moon and I'll be honest here, I wasn't looking at a photo, but definitely look at a reference photo so you can find those details that would be on the moon that you should be following. It really does help and yeah, I just decided to wing it and go for it. Well, I'm just really coming back in with my eraser and I'm starting to erase some of the dark color because as you can tell that charcoal is just very very dark it's too dark for me and I wanted it to be a lot more lightened and if you have it a solid color of just black and there's no then there's really no depth to it so you got to make sure that you keep going back and forth adding the light colors um, adding the dark colors, removing some of the dark colors, that way you just give it that overall realistic look. I didn't really use the blending stump too much. I really love just using my fingers. I think it's the easiest way. I don't know if this is the correct way to do it, to blend, but I've always been doing it using my fingers, even when I have drawn other things. So I really think it's a great tool to utilize. You might as well. I think what I figured out within drawing it was that the best, the best way to make it look realistic to make it appear more real as if there's some craters and details that you can't really draw on because it's so much detail. I found the best thing to do was to give it an overall color with the chamois cloth and then come back in with my eraser and kind of dab it around in certain areas and allow it to erase certain sections that had color. Once you do all that, once you get all the main details out, now you can come in with your white charcoal and start adding those realistic details. So I added some craters here and there and and because the moon has so many details, it's just impossible to replicate. It's okay that if you are going in there and just doing things abstractly at this point because replicating something with high detail is very, very difficult, especially starting out. And even for me, I just don't like to do it. I find it's not as enjoyable if I'm trying to replicate every single little thing. And to me, if I'm replicating every little thing, it's not even mine, it's not even my artwork. So I'm just going in with the white and adding just random details all around the moon to try to give it a little more texture. I've really gotten back into sketching with charcoal because I find that it helps me when I paint so much. It helps me with my realism and it really does translate over to my creativity when I am painting. Even if you don't sketch, it's honestly a great thing. It's honestly, it's a great skill to try to master. It's a great skill to practice. All 
right, space cadets, that's it. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, hit that like and subscribe button. If you have any ideas for future videos that you want me to make, drop a comment below. I would love to hear what you guys want to see. And if you want to follow me along my art journey, you can find my work at Atlantian Designs on Instagram. All the links will be below in the description box and space cadets, I will see you next time. Hello.